Hi everyone, Ms. Josie here. I know you can't see my face, but it's fine. I think you'll be fine with that. So I was recently watching some 49 Dragonflies uh, videos and she was talking about how to make use of some journals that you might have made or maybe you were given that have just sat on your shelf and not um, really been able to come to life for whatever reason that may be. Maybe it just wasn't the right format for you or the style or what have you. So I went through and messing with all of my journals that I have made and have been given. And this is just a few of them. I actually have already combined three journals. I'm sorry, five journals into two. Um, so I put three into one and two into the other that match, match the size. And as I was doing it, I was like, why am I not filming this? So we're going to work on, I tried to categorize them by size so that it was easier for me to combine. Um, now, I don't know what's going to happen after I do this. You know, I may still not be interested in using it, but we're going to find out. So first of all, I have this one. Um, it has several flips and uh, journaling spots. It just never worked for me because I didn't quite like the way it opened. Um, it just seemed odd to me. And I did uh, I did have somebody give this to me. And she did a great job on it. So nothing wrong with her style or her technique. It just wasn't working for me personally. So I'm going to take this apart and I'm going to see what I can do. And actually a piece of it already came out. Um, string was right here and I accidentally pulled it and it came out. Okay. So this one's very, um, uh, miss mosh pieces of paper that I've just stuck together and did like a stitch. So I think I'm going to combine them all into this one that I have put several of my pieces of ephemera in that I made two years ago for um, just the Femorember. Um, so, and which I love, which if you watch my Femorember series, you'll know of what I did. So what I, um, the same gal that made this, made this for me, and I added embellishments that I already made into this. So I love it. And I think I will get use out of it as a way to highlight some embellishments that I've made or that I have been given that I really love and I want to put in here to um, look at for inspiration. So that is my plan. But the problem with this is it's really thin. It's very close to computer paper or like presentation paper. So I need to do something about this because it is tearing already from just being moved around. So, but look at this. Oh, just love it. And I don't want to cover this up. So what I was thinking was I would take it off and then use it as the inside and make a whole new cover. How's that sound? I think it's a good plan. Now, the only problem I'm going to have is I'm going to have to re-stitch or punch these pages. And that, I think, is where we are going to have a problem. I'm going to have a problem getting them all together since I already have holes and everything. I was trying to conserve this, or not conserve, I'm sorry. I was trying to reuse the string but I don't know if that is going to work. I'm going to use my awl here and see if I can undo it. Okay. Might have to put music over some of this. This might be kind of boring. Not sure how long this video is going to be, but I do have it charging my phone. I'm doing this on my phone. So um, at least I won't die. But I think there is a limit to how much my phone will will allow me to video at one time. Almost there. I don't know what's 
stitch I did on this, but I think it's very similar to what I did on the other one. Okay, now I gotta find the middle. Oh, well, lost a lost a piece. I actually think I might have put this journal together myself, and the cover was given to me by the same person that made the other journal. Because I love this vellum and I've, I've had it for a while. Okay, is this? This is the middle. This is some just, it's coffee staining there. So it's like, oh, is that thunder? I don't know if that was thunder or if that was just a rumbly car. Okay, looks like I am going to be able to salvage that string. Fantastic. So now everything's all loose. Okay, let's get this out of here. I'm going to set this aside so that we can figure out what to do about this. So right now I have a tuck spot in here with a beautiful postcard from the, uh, which is of a um, common morpho butterfly. And I got this when I went to the Franklin Park Conservatory several years ago, um, which is in Columbus, Ohio. And I made this belly. Oh, I got another one. <laughs> What's doing there? Didn't know. Um, I made this belly band as part of Defemorember, I believe. If not, I just put it together to put in here. So I think I'm going to pull this off. It's going to tear the paper just a little bit, but just be one layer of the paper and I'm going to glue this down to some thicker cardstock. Okay, got it. And then I have another one here that I made that wraps around the front. Now I did glue this down with some really good glue. So in order to not, uh, I might just cut this. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut it. I'm going to cut it. I noticed when I was taking apart my other journals that some one of the types of sticky tape that I have does not last very long. It's maybe two years and then it is detaching from the paper. Uh, very annoying and it's leaving like a residue. Not a, yes, a sticky residue, but also like a greasy residue. I wanted to take this off anyway, so. Okay, I'm going to... Let's just cut this off completely. I have a piece of lace underneath this. I don't want to ruin that. Excuse me. And I accidentally glued this bulldog, or whatever this is called, not bulldog, uh, ball pin down there too, and I did not mean to. But I actually think I have it stuck into this foam embellishment, so... Let's see, is it going to come off? I thought I put glue on this. Oh, my cat is licking herself on this plastic container. It's making a weird noise. Oh, fudge. Well, we're going to have to put something on the cover of this anyway. Actually, this will be on the inside, so it's fine. So I did tear the paper a little bit. So I have to find something to cover that up and the residue. Very sticky. Okay, cool. Well, not too bad. This little, little journaling card I made blank on the back. I'm going to pause the video and find a piece of cardstock to glue this onto. Okay, I am back and wobbling. Sorry about that. <laughs> I have decided, hmm, possibly, I was going to use this piece of 
cardboard that I found under my desk. But now I'm not sure if I want to fiddle with that that much. I might see if I have a, a thinner piece of chipboard that would be a little bit better. But the problem was is I needed something long. Let's see, is this... I do have a ton of chipboard. Let's see what this looks like. Okay, this is too thick. This is... Why does this look like two pieces stuck together? Interesting. Oh, that's weird. I did buy this. I bought this online, I think maybe Amazon, but it really did look like two pieces of... Maybe that's just the way it looks. I don't know. I'm going to try the chipboard lightweight chipboard for this instead of the cardboard because I feel like it's going to be easier for me to score and cut. So I decided to give this a little bit of a gusset and I'm going to think I'm going to use my, um, I need a, how am I going to score this? Let's see. Let's see if I can use my creative memories uh score board to do this i need a nice crisp score Let's switch this out Oops. okay i need to make a mark with a pencil let's see of where the border is gonna be Oh, you know, this isn't quite even. You know, let me trim this real quick. I just noticed that there's a little bit of white. Okay. Top here too. I think this was a printable image that she found somewhere. I don't know where. Uh, but I love it. And I don't want to let it go. I just could not believe how much stuff I accumulated um, that was made and given to me. And I just kept making these journals and really loving them. But um, So last year, I and I have a few videos on here, some flip throughs. Last year, I did a daily book for every month, and that was really fun, and it gave me the opportunity to use up a few journals that I had already made from uh, Made at Craft Events, but I still ended up with a lot left, and also some of them just didn't fit the theme for the month. You know, I tried to go, you know, like spring for March, April, and... Um, I ended up with a really cool Christmas album. So two, two of them, actually three. I've got another one right here off to the side here. And I ended up doing a Christmas in July one too, cause I just had to use it. So let's see if I can, this is not really straight. That is okay. So I was thinking maybe about doing another year of dailies but it has taken up so much space just 2022 um with having done a daily for a monthly journal um one for every month so i don't know if that's gonna work for me so currently in my prior to 2020 I have been doing eight and a half by 11 binder style journals. Um, I'm sorry, scrapbooks. And I don't know if I want to keep doing that because I really don't like the way they look, but I came so far 
with them that I don't want to reformulate. I already reformulated like three scrapbooks from 12 by 12 to eight and a half by 11. And in the middle of doing that, I almost regretted it. So I, the biggest reason that I did it is because a long time ago, my daughter accidentally spilled a can of soda and it went all down in between the pages and ruined a couple of pages, but got all the page, the page protector sticky of the 12 by 12 album that it was in. And I had to get rid of that because that just was driving me crazy. But I left it for a really long time just because I was so heartbroken. I didn't want, I needed time just to, just to be away from it. So anyway, I kind of wanted to do this size. Um, and I'm not a creative memories rep. I just have a really good friend that is. So that's the reason why I'm bringing it up. But I really like this size. But they don't make them anymore. So I, I don't exactly know the dimensions offhand. But I really like it. And I bought all of her kits. So I covered the pages. But I haven't used them yet. Um, but I like their journals because they're expandable. You can put these types of... Um, I'm not sure what their binding is called, but anyway, it can be, ex it could expand pretty far, I would say, that I could get a whole year worth of stuff in there. And their, their, um, albums just feel so nice. So, I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Clearly, I've not used that, but it's sitting here looking at me. Okay, for this, I think we're gonna do a, maybe an inch gusset. Where's my pencil? Oh my goodness. Got too much stuff over here. Okay, let's see. About right here and right here. That looks like about an inch. I'm going to try to score right there and right there. And then I will cut it out. I wonder if it would be easier if I cut it first. No, it doesn't matter. It does not matter. No, it would be easier if I cut it first, guys. Too much bulk. I won't be able to stain. I did it again. I won't be able to see. Wow, there's a lot of pieces of paper in here. Huh, wild. This is the cutting blade. If you're not familiar with creative memories, um, lighting is not great, but the... It, it, uh, this pushes down and pulls the blade out so it's nice and safe. Okay, let's move on. Let's get this show on the road. And it's great because it just cuts like butter. It's great. Oh, I lost my marks. Nope, now my cat's going to make crazy noises. Crazy boy, what are you doing? <laughs> okay. Let's do it. Let's do the score. I have to be careful with this because this score blade sometimes... It's a doll like metal blade. It um so like it doesn't necessarily cut you, but it has cut through paper before for me. So I have to be very careful. Perfect. Oh yeah. Why does that feel crooked, guys? No, it's not. It's just me. Okay, here we go. So not much of a gusset, but I think we can make that work. Okay, let's score. Oh, well, I guess I could glue it and rescore it. 
I should have glued it down first and then scored it. Mm, fudge. Okay, let me go ahead and get this glued and I'll come right back. Oh, <laughs> sorry. I'm glad you guys are back before dark. You guys have fun? Yeah. <laughs> Why is this still rolling when I said to pause? Okay. Okay, guys. Well, if I figure out how to edit this, it'll be a miracle already getting along so I did use a paintbrush to glue that paper down so that I had the least amount of bulging let me put this lid back on oh you know what I could wouldn't that be pretty if I if I use part of this or use this as part of the cover the Morpho one oh pretty okay let's see oh yeah that art glitter glue i do have a little bit of bulging here okay good stuff now let me go over this score line from the other side so that i can get it nice and creased Good glue on my trimmer. Get some goo gone on that. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Good for me. Let me. Just get this creased really good. And you know what? It means it's going to match a little rippling. It's just going to match with the vintage feel. Okay. Now we got to figure out the holes and I need to do something with this, but it needs to be not here. Let me decide what I'm going to do with this. So this is the one that my friend in my craft group sent me. I don't think I'm going to be able to salvage this one. This looks pretty tight. Uh, the knot does. It's hard to, to, to um, separate when it's got different um, lots of threads. Yeah, I think for time's sake, guys, I think I'm just going to cut this one. Yeah, let's go ahead and cut this one. Okay. So this is just some copy paper that she has put in for journaling spots. I don't know that I'm going to use this or not, but I will put it off to the side and figure it out. I could, if I get the holes lined up with the other pages... I need to find the beginning. Here we go. To see if it will work somehow. But this is a very short paper and most of those is, most of those pages are much bigger. So we'll see. So we'll put this over here. That's a pile. And we'll take this one out and put it over there too. So this is this is glued down here to this envelope pocket okay and then there's oh this is upside down there's a pocket here so you know I wonder if I could use this as a flip out like a flip out like that I 
I was never sure what part of this she wanted to use, what I meant to use as the front. Here's a tuck spot. I don't know that I knew that was a tuck spot. Okay, pocket, 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 tuck spot. Oh, I mean, I guess that's a pocket too. And then kind of a little tuck spot here. So this is a paper bag with a flip out. There's a tuck spot here as well. Cool. I don't, I don't want to take this apart because I love all parts of it. But I'm thinking if I remove this and then glue this down to something like maybe maybe the back of one of these pages I could use it as a flip out Wait, is that the is that the right way am I thinking the right way if I laid this down it would have to be it would have to be on the left side of the book so it flips out this way is that what we want to do this is kind of already pulling away from the back, so I feel like it's answering my question. Let's go ahead and do that. Now we just have to find where we're going to flip it out. Oh, look, that came off pretty easily. Okay, I can definitely use this somewhere else. Miss Lady, no. So we need to find a right side page to stick that on. I'm going to have all my additional little pieces of ephemera to put back in once I'm done. Okay, there's that. Oh, this is still sticky. This. Okay. And that goes there. I just love this paper. It's been great. Let's take apart the other one so that I can decide how to create this um, Velcro mechanism that I made that I love. Because I love the uh, sparkly paper. Okay, did, what did I do? Double knot this. I did the same exact thing to this one. Oh wow, this is really tight. Oh, fiddlesticks. Oh, it's coming. Can you see Miss Lady? No, she's sitting right by my elbow. Yeah, I'm talking about you. What, are you watching? You see the string? You little rascal. You can't have it. It's mine. I did bend this just a little bit. We find the center. Where is the center? Okay. This is bent. Okay. We are done with that. Put these pieces in the trash. I don't know if we're going to use that or not. Put my clips back. Okay, now we have our pieces. I'm going to keep this separate because I plan on using that. Hmm. We'll figure it out. Okay. I don't love this. I don't love this. This was very hastily made, meant to be covered. So I don't know if I'm going to use this. So we're going to throw it over there. 
I do like this color and this craft paper. So yes, we'll keep that. Oh, let's make this key pile. This is potential. Okay, this is definitely keep. This has a beautiful little embellishment I made with a bunny on it and the one on the back. So that's a keep. This needs covered here, but I could also use it as drilling space. This is, oh, I have two pieces covered up. Well, we got to fix that. How did I do that? My little bingo, I just love this bingo card I made. Love it. Okay, we'll keep that. That's a keep. Vellum is definitely a keep. Has a pocket on the back, my little tea pocket that I made. Love. Got to have that. And a little inside piece that I made. My favorite. And then this is. Yes. Okay. Mm hmm. We'll keep that. Yeah, little tuck spot. You know, I don't love this blue. I don't know that it really goes with anything here. So I think we're going to put this in the discard pile. This has a chew mark taken out of it. Discard. This is another piece of that ugly. Um, yeah. Oh. <laughs> All right. Another piece of craft paper. I love that. I love this metallic cardstock. I love this. Oh, it does have a hole there, but that's okay. We'll fix it. A friend of mine stamped that for me. And gave it to me and I thought it was adorable so we'll keep, definitely keep that another piece of paper okay how should we put this back together what should be the middle I don't want that as the middle that's for sure oh sorry you can't see what I'm doing here Because I don't know what the purpose of this journal is going to be, I think I'm going to put this in the middle. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put this in the middle. I'm going to put... Is this a pocket? Yeah, this is a pocket. Oh, I should make this into a journaling card. I should put something on the back of this. Maybe one of those pieces of paper that I discarded. Okay, I have two birds here, though. Artemis. So I might find somewhere else to put this. The birds are kind of... This says September on it. There, oh, there. That's better. We'll put that one in there. Okay, middle... We want a short piece. Trying to line some of the holes up. Oh, maybe I should get a needle and thread. And shoot, I don't even know. Where my needle is currently. Okay, let's keep going. I'll do my best here. Okay. This flips out. Okay.
Sorry if this is super boring. I'm going to enjoy watching it back. I'm going to laugh at myself. <laughs> no, I don't like that. Let's switch that. Oh, you know why? I should put the I should put the giraffes behind the vellum. Let's do maybe I should do big page, short page. Big page, short page. And then this. And then this. So you can see the giraffes through that. Mm-hmm. We'll do short page. Short page, short page, short page. So we're not gonna be able to do that for all of them. We only have two big pages, bigger pages left. which way this was initially. Oh yeah, this has to be on the top. I'm really liking the way this is going so far. Oh, it's making me happy. Okay, now I just have to get all the pages stuck together. <laughs> I think I'm going to do this off camera. <laughs> well guys, I had to take a snack break. I had to find this tapestry needle and it's bent and covered in goo I don't know why cats are acting crazy tonight I don't know what is going on with them I have had this old spool of thick thread for so long and I do not I got it from I don't know maybe a thrift store or something. I don't know. I've had it since I was a kid. Crazy, I know. Crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Ow! <laughs> I just poked my finger with my awl. Jeez. Okay. What is the best plan of action for getting this through here? I got it. I'm sorry about the lighting in here, guys. Should I make a knot? Jesus, this is not even whatsoever. It's pretty pathetic. I think I should just leave it and then bring it back together and and then um, um, uh, knot it together. Okay, so I have to. Well, let's plant these. Uh, 
I should have did that to begin with. I am going to have to trim. I don't remember where I stopped it, but I am going to have to trim this just a little bit. I had to figure out how to edit video so I can speed this silly stuff up. You know? Let's get two clamps on here. Mostly in the center. So we're dropping stuff. Oh, that's okay. That was just a that was just a tuck. The little card that I made, the little journaling card. Okay. Whew, got nervous there for a second. I wasn't gonna redo it, I'll tell you that much. is like doing surgery or something. It's crazy. Right, this is giving me a little bit of trouble. Goodness. Oh, jeez. Well, the thing problem is, is I didn't want to split it. There we go. There we go. know that I gave myself quite enough line here. Okay, all right, we're doing it. We're doing it. Man, having one of these awls is just top notch. Gotta have it. Making this hole just a little bit bigger by kind of moving it around. 
so I can get this needle through here. Oh my gosh, it went right through! Yay! Oh, look guys, I did it! I did it! And it's almost straight. <laughs> this one got a little wonky, but I did it! Okay, now let's pull this tight and figure out how I'm going to tie it. <laughs> I don't know that the, the middle's completely correct, but um, we're going to go with it. We're going to go with it. I'm going to tie it in a couple of knots. Maybe. Yeah. And then I'll cut the needle off. Now I gotta put this somewhere safe because I need it. Put it in my, I have a little drawer over here. Okay, I'm so excited that I got that finished. Yay, me! Now, let's trim. Put these back. If I don't put stuff back where I found it, then I'll lose it all. Let's see how this worked out. Oh, my other card. This I don't need. These are my other pages. I did want to make a... couple of journal cards to go in those other pockets. So I got that one there. Okay. Let's see what we got here. So there's that. Not looking too bad. It's a little bit of a gator mouth. But that's okay. Now I know I'm, I'm not going to be able to put too much in here, but if I don't want it to, to just lay like this, but at the same time, I don't mind it because I kind of like a gator mouth. This just just I'm in love with this look at this color scheme goes together they weren't even supposed to be together but they are yeah look at that and this was that where that uh, card was might be too shallow of a pocket there's so many things I can do here and add embellishments to every page and then I could write about it that's a great idea. I can write about why I made this the way that I made it and I did it off of a prompt. So there's a reason why I use certain elements to fit that prompt. I have to go back and look at the prompt list though because I do not remember which one it was. I could write here that my friend Heather stamped that for me and sent it in our craft group. I got to put something there. This is a title out of the uh, Kama Sutra that I found at the thrift store. Oh, so this is the page I have to trim because it's hanging out. Oh, yeah. We see we got too much plain there. I got to put something in there. Trim this. This is that flip out so I'm definitely gonna have to put something here to designate that that's a flip out let me go ahead and cut that with while I'm thinking about it and so it's not so tight and then I'm just gonna you know sometimes when the the uh, inspiration just hits you I'm gonna put a little bit of vintage photo on this Isn't that a great sound? The only type of ASMR that I like is paper crafting ASMR. Yeah, that's good. I see it. All right. So that I know is a flip out there. That's a lot of blank. Got to get some things to fill that page up. So one I made off of a prompt, my little tea pocket. Came out so cute. Oh, tuck spot. I showed that in the beginning. Sorry. I gotta fix. I gotta do something with that. There's a hole there. 
Maybe I can put a dangle or something there. Oh, it might fall out the bottom and that would annoy me. Look at how perfectly that went together. Oh my gosh. There's a pocket. You know, I could just... I think I stuck that there because I took it off of something else. So I can actually glue this on to another page somewhere. I gotta find a... You know, like this. Oh, or here. Yeah, that's a good idea. Put that there. Oh! <laughs> I forgot the lid was not on it all the way. Goodness. Where did I put that paintbrush? Now that I drooled out a bunch of glue. Oh, it's already hard. I need a little bit more. A little cat hair in there, you know. We love it. Yeah, that is dry. Let me go get that washed. There we go. Love it. Okay, we got all the way back here to the back. That was my last. That is pretty tight right there. Hopefully that doesn't just rip right through the cardstock. Oh, there we go. This is cute. Okay, that is kind of fun. Oh, that's sticky there. I gotta put something there. That doesn't get stuck to it. What can we put? What is one of our little thingies that we have back here? Although I could keep that as a as a writing spot if I put something to cover this up because um, I already have an embellishment on this page. Let me see if I have a nice color like writing paper I can stick in there. Get my fingers on this. Back. Sorry for the delay. Do you want that like that? Is that too big? Yeah. Sure is. smudge it up a little bit yeah so this is grateful here I could maybe put a little something else here okay let's do that do I have a tape runner well I did somewhere if there's any left in here is it empty is it just stuck Don't you love when these things don't work? For real fat all. Oh, it's empty. Okay, well that would be why it didn't work. What do we got? Do I have any double-sided sticky tape? These alls are great for peeling up this tape, too. Okay. 
Oh, Bendless says. Here, that covers that up. Make it look, made it look a little dirty, but that's okay. Go full force for it. What else do we have? I don't want to just leave this stuff lay, you know, because it everything needs to have a home. Boy, this mess over here on the side is driving me crazy. Okay, so I tore this off of the um I really love this blue ink that she used here. I don't know what kind it is. Anyway, I tore this off of the other album, so I need to find somewhere to stick it. Oh, we got to put our flip in. Forgot about it. Hope you're still here. Okay, so there's that. Let's put this here because this blue and blue matches pretty well. Let's do the sticky tape again because this paper is pretty thin and I don't want it to bubble up with the, with the wet glue. Hopefully this will stick because it looks like she already had used a dry adhesive on here. Should be fine. Thanks for watching. If you've watched this far, I'd love for you to like my channel or subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to get some more followers i'm very new to filming and or new i mean i'm not very good at it is what i mean by new <laughs> this one's being difficult if i have managed to figure out how to edit this video it's gonna be great be fantastic. Perfect. OMG. I'm excited by that. Okay. Now we have this. And I don't know if I want. Yeah. We'll take this off. We'll take the top off. Make it a little bit shorter. I found these antique <laughs> creative memory shears at thrift store for 99 cents. Okay. Let's find a good place for this. This is real. Oh no, how about. No, that doesn't go. This needs to go on a spot where it's... Nope, I can't do that because then you won't be able to see the... The giraffes. I'm busy working here, silly girl. This is crooked. It's okay, I guess it's going to wobble back and forth. Okay, I think I'm just going to have to shorten this a little bit and make a spot for it. I'm not really going to be able to see if there's any butterflies. Maybe that's enough.
See, there's a music note paper right here. Because I was trying to cover this staple up here from this pocket I made. So I wonder if I... If I... Miss Lady. I am trying to work. Sit down. Miss Lady, sit. Where's my other zigzag? Scissors. Nope. Miss Lady, get up. <laughs> Look, I'm tapping her. She doesn't even care. Look. Miss Ma'am. Come on. Look. Say hi. Say hi. I'm a shelly girl. Yes. Mwah. She is a silly girl. I think I'm going to cut this in half. And split it up onto two pages. Yep. I'm going to put this right here as a tuck spot. Yay! Okay, I'm going to use a little, whoops, wet glue for this. Let's try not to take the lid all the way off again. Excuse me. Although I have a lot of stuff in the bottom half of this book, so I think I stuck my finger right in it. It's going to be a little bulky. I didn't bring my towel in here today. Okay, got to find somewhere else to stick that. So we have this piece, this piece. And we may put those in there. Oh, this one. That can be a journaling card, actually. I'm going to glue. I'm going to glue this onto here. So I have some writing spot on the back. Writing space on the back. Where's my scissors? No, I did not save that scrap. I threw it away. 
Okay, so this is going to need a long or tall um, something to stick in this pocket so it doesn't get lost. It's okay. We really need to find somewhere to put this flip out. Which I know is going to make this really bulky, but I have to incorporate it. Decided I'm going to take that off of there because I'm not in love with it. And I am going to toss it. Okay. I know why she put it there probably to cover up this seam. But I'll find something else to stick here. Okay, I made that a journaling card. I wonder if I made that a piece of a writing piece. You know? I'm saying there's a writing spot. When I see another little flip book here that I took apart earlier that I haven't done anything with. And so I may try to incorporate that in here too. The colors are a little darker. Not quite on, but I might be able to make it work. Although I feel like I do have a bit of a range in here. Some brights and some more antique looking pages. Ma'am? No. She's trying to come over here again, guys. Yes, I love you. But you can't be here right now. I'm working. Okay, we have to pick a spot. Have to pick a spot for this flip out. It says treasure, so I know you can't really see that. Oh, and it has to be on the left side. So it flips out properly. It should really be on a sturdy page. What about there? Because that blue matches. And I think I put that other matching piece where that other blue was. wherever it is in here. Sorry, now you're just watching me flip through it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, it's not exactly the same. But I knew that I came from the same place. Okay, let's do it. Let's put it down. There's a hole here I really need to cover up. Put some washi down or something, I guess. Cover that hole up. It's 
pretty, but it really doesn't go. This goes, but I think it's too thick. Maybe something contrasty. This green would be okay. I kind of like this dark color. This is cheapy stuff though, so I don't know if this is going to stay down. There. There we go. Okay, this is going to need some time to dry, so I am not going to fiddle fart with it. Let's move on. We'll keep that off to the side so I can incorporate it somewhere else. Okay. We have this little little button thing I made too that I need to do something with try to remove some of this bulk Ugh. it's pretty sticky I could probably get away with just putting it somewhere without having to glue it down like right here Oh, I didn't trim those pages. Hold. Now, this is problem here because... I put this on and it, ooh, will it come up? I was going to say it needs trimmed. It is coming up quite nicely. Good for me. This must have a waxy coating on it. what it looks like now. Oops. Get my trash put away here. Ooh. Sorry guys. Can't see anything. I need to figure out. Oh, what did this this came off? There was a thing that went on this. There was a little tag. When did that come off? I made a special little tag that fit on there and I don't remember when it came off. Did I put it in my little this is my little container of bits and bobs that I need to stick somewhere? And I do remember seeing it not too long ago, but I had forgotten all about it until just now. Maybe I used it on something. Oh, I'm getting tired. My eyes are getting tired. Well, fiddle dee. We'll have to rectify that later. I need to get done. <sighs> I 
think I'm just going to make this shorter. And then... Mm, I don't want to throw this little piece of rickrack away. Okay, now what was I looking for? <laughs> I don't remember. Somewhere to stick this. Oh, shoot. I know I have so much stuff on the bottom, but that'd be kind of cute right there. Wouldn't it? It's really sticky. What do you think about that? Oh, it's upside down in the camera. No, that's right. That's right for you, silly me. Okay, get it together. Obviously, I'm tired. Okay, we're going to stick that in there. We need writing spots, so I don't want to, although that is going to be a journaling card there. go with that. Oh wait, Ooh, we got this. You know, honestly, this is too, almost too big to be in here now. So maybe we need to find another home for this. Although I don't have anything wide enough for this to fit in. And this really does match the theme. Could I do a, a long ways? I don't think I have a sheet. It'll be sticking out, wouldn't it? Won't it? If I put it there. Yeah, look. And I could trim it. If I want to keep with the theme. I put it this way it will hang off of the page will that work oh look at that we'll leave it like that we will leave it like that oh I put it down upside down well good thing I didn't officially glue it down because you know me gluing things down upside down just gonna put some do some wet glue on this one since the double sided sticky tape is still a little sticky. Oh, I wasn't thinking about that. Okay. okay no it's okay I like to see people make mistakes as I know that I make them all the time you know what we're gonna do we're gonna put some washi on the back of that see do we want to use the same one that I already used let's see how it looks yeah, since I decided to over glue, shoot, but that washi is too thin. Where's that other one? That simple stories one. Is that too thick? too long <laughs> just a little bit just a tad bit Let's see can I cut this from an odd angle wow scissors don't want to cut anything
Oh, that's the flip. Jeez. Where's my cap? Now, let's see where we're going to put this. I really like the way that one came out. It's fun. Okay. Here's the middle. Well, that's ripping quite a bit there. Okay. There's our flip. <laughs> Whoops. I should have checked that. Like a glue. Oh, look, I ripped the paper. That's okay. We're just going to deal with it. I should have checked that glue seepage. Okay, so. Goes here. That goes there. You know, do I love this? I don't know that I love this right here. I think I'm going to trim that off and find somewhere else to put it. There's that. Okay. Good. Good stuff. Yes. Stick this. Hold it fit. Look at that. Look at that. Treasures. Okay. Great. We love that. Trying to see if I can salvage this. Nope. Stuck to my finger.
Oh, I got sticky stuff all over my good scissors. I have to get the goo gone out. Oops. Miss Nady, what you doing? There. Put that right in there. Now let's find a secret place for it. Maybe here. This needs something, doesn't it? Yeah. That's not going to go. That needs something smaller. It's getting pretty chunky, guys. Maybe I should have given it more of a gusset. <laughs> yeah. Make a little belly band. Because that was its original intended purpose. Okay. So far, so good. Okay. Let's do a flip through. All right, cover, which has, this was the original cover, and now it's on the inside. I won't talk too much. There's a tuck spot. Crooked, but it's fine. A bingo card in there. Belly band we just put on. Embellishment. Pretty paper. Other embellishments. Copy dye. Vellum. Stamped and colored little envelope pocket. Oh, shoot! I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to cover that with something. Tuck spot. Flip out. Pocket. Drilling spot. Another embellishment. Embellishment, embellish, oh, tuck spot embellishment. And this flips. Another um, pocket, which I don't have anything to stick in at the moment. Another pocket. Bill, some more embellishments. I could probably put this somewhere else, you know. It's got some good tape on it. But yeah, that's kind of out of place there. Will it come off? Okay, well we'll have to fix that later. Because I don't like where that was. For my little tea pocket, I'm going to have to fix the tail. glued that off a little bit off to the side like I did the other one make the middle section not so bulky I'm gonna put that here put that there because there was nothing there making it look really dull yeah this did I glue this I already had that down there, didn't I? Yeah, if I made it off to the side like I did this one, I'll maybe be less bulky. Okay. And this could be colored, too, if somebody wanted to. 
Somebody, me, I don't know. <laughs> okay, there's that. So I have the last thing here is something I got from someone, I don't know whom. And it's another little booklet that I took apart already. But I thought that good times might work here. Maybe not. No, I could. I just cut around it. Let's see what else is in here. I love this paper. It's beautiful. Yeah, that's the only... That's the only thing that I see that I want to use it for. So let's go ahead and just cut around it. Very terribly. Oh, wow. That was bad. So the cover might seem a little plain to other some people, but for me, I don't mind because I'm usually going to be displaying them, not displaying them. They're usually going to be on a shelf or in a, in a little bin or something. So that really works for me at this moment in time. You know, I could put that behind it these corners rounded maybe I just had the darn oh it's right here I just had the darn thing <laughs> oh well what are you gonna do I'm just cleaning up this paper And it can be used in the journal somewhere. And some of those. Maybe if there was a tuck spot that it would fit into. If not, I can always use it on something else. We have this one. Let's cut this off. The rounded edges really helps to get them in those pockets too. Okay. Ooh. Let's get this rounded since all the rest of them are. Let's see where we can find this or, or fit this. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, we do have a tuck spot here. 
Let's see, love you always. Oh, is it not going to fit? No, that one's not going to fit unless I make it thinner. No, I don't, I don't want to mess up the rounded edges. Let's trim it just a little bit from this end. We can get a little closer. We got it. Okay. Yes, we can make it work, can't we? Okay, we don't need anything there. We have this tuck spot here, but I know those aren't going to be, those aren't going to work for that. This. Oh, yes. Yes. That's not going to work there. That's not going to work there. Oh, I've got to stop over gluing. Oh, I gotta eat. I'm starving. This, where was that other, that other spot that was too small for something? Not that one. This one? The bird? It doesn't really go, but I'm okay with it. I'm okay with that. Okay. Well, I'm so glad that you guys stayed till the end to watch that. I hope you enjoy. Please consider subscribing and come back to see my next video whenever that may be. Have a good night. Bye.